guys, welcome to my channel. I want to be a cabin crew. Hi everyone! If in my other videos I told you what a cabin crew has to do on board, in this video I will explain you what a cabin crew has to do before a flight. Maybe you will be surprised to hear that we never go to the airport before a flight taking off from Doha. The company bus takes us from our accommodation and drops us at the QROC, Qatar Airways Operational Center. We need to leave our accommodation 2 hours and 40 minutes before the flight, but this time depends on how far our accommodation is from QROC. Mine is 20 minutes away. Each crew can see his pickup time on a notice board found inside each accommodation. The bus will make 3-4 stops before reaching QROC. There we have 3 check-in counters where we can leave our suitcases in case we have a layover. Then, we go to one of the computers and swipe our ID to check in for the flight. Next, we have to check on some screens where is our briefing room. We have a certain time when we need to be inside the briefing room, called reporting time. If we reach QROC too early, we can eat or drink something in our cafeteria. When everyone is in the room, we can start our briefing. The chairs will be arranged like this. The supervisor or supervisors sitting in the front of the room. We have between 1 and 3 supervisors depending on the aircraft type. I will simulate one briefing considering that they are going to fly on a small aircraft, Airbus A320, so only 6 cabin crew are needed. 1 cabin senior, 4 crew working in economy class and 1 crew working in business class. Good morning everyone! Welcome to today's flight QR1339 going to Tunis. Are you all carrying your passport and legal documents? Yes. That's great. Let's introduce ourselves. I will start. My name is Shueta, I'm from India and I've been here for the last 6 years. Please. Good morning, I'm Christine from Philippines, 3 months flying. Thank you. Hello everyone, Maria from Colombia, 1 year and 5 months flying. Hello, I'm Ahmed from Morocco, 3 years flying. Good morning, Anna from Ukraine, 2 years flying. Good morning, I'm Kim from Korea, 4 years and 4 months flying, thank you. Nice to meet you everyone. Let's talk about the flight, QR1339. What is the aircraft registration? Alpha 7 Bravo Charlie Romeo. Destination? Tunis, we all know. What is the airport name? Tunis Carthage. Flying time is going to be 6 hours and 10 minutes and the altitude 33,000 feet. What is the departure time? 7.30. And the scheduled landing time? 12.15. What is the UTC? Plus 1 hour. Captain and first officer's name? Giuseppe and Daniel. We are expecting full load in economy, 120 passengers, 9 in business class, 12 children and 2 infants. 7 special meals, 2 privileged club members, 1 gold and 1 silver, both seated in economy class. Please make sure you introduce yourself and take them with preference. What is the service we are doing? Breakfast. Ok, I will give you your positions. I will stop the briefing for a moment because I want to explain you shortly what these positions mean. This is Airbus A320. It has 8 cabin exits. Door L1 means door number 1 left hand side. Door R1 means door number 1 right hand side. We open the door L1 and L4 for passengers and doors R1 and R4 for catering. These 4 doors are doors type 1. Doors L2 R2, L3 R3 are overwing exits and they are open only in case of an emergency. There are no crew jump seats next to these doors. We need one crew for each type 1 door. Only that crew can open and close, arm and disarm that door. We have in business class galley 2 jump seats for L1 and R1 crew and in economy class galley 4 jump seats, L4, R4, R4A and R4 Charlie. R4 Charlie facing the cabin. R4A and R4 Charlie don't have a door to take care of. Also, your position will tell you which zone of the aircraft is in your care. You need to preset headsets in that zone to perform the aircraft security search 
to secure the passengers seated in that zone for takeoff and landing, etc. The supervisor will always be L1 in this type of aircraft. Let's continue the briefing. I will be L1. Kim, you have no choice, you will be R1. Christine, you will be R for Charlie. Ahmed, L4, in charge of economy. Keep me informed about anything happening in economy. Maria, R4, and Anna, R4A. Clear with your positions? Yes. Let's ask the safety and first aid questions. Christine, what is the pre-flight check of economy flashlight? Correct stowage and quantity, LED flight flashing every 5 seconds, protective tape intact. Kim, when will the cabin crew start with the aircraft security search? When cleansing is completed, flight deck briefing conducted and CS made PA cabin crew start aircraft security search. Maria, how will the cabin crew conduct aircraft security search? From aft to forward of the area of responsibility once the cleansing staff has disembarked. Also following the aircraft security search checklist. Anna, when do we have to do the LCCC call? Pre-passenger boarding checks, door arm disarm checks and cabin secure checks for takeoff and landing. Ahmed, what is the chain of communication in a medical situation? CSD, CS, Commander, Metling, PA for medical personnel. Okay, good. Guys, economy is full today. Everyone to be in the cabin for boarding and make sure the bags are arranged properly. Check the toilets every 15 minutes and make sure the galley and the aisles are clean. Maria, give me the meal counts from catering as soon as you have them. Make sure you answer the call bells and let me know whatever minor problem you encounter. Meal shortage, passengers upset because they couldn't change their seats, anything. If you have a problem with a passenger that doesn't speak English, Ahmed is here to help you but don't call him for anything minor that you can solve by yourself. That's it. Anyone wants to add anything? No? Then let's proceed to the aircraft. One more thing that I didn't mention but it always happens during the briefing is the grooming check. One grooming officer will come into the briefing room and will check everyone's look, uniform, makeup, nails and hair, with jacket and without jacket, with hat and without hat. If your uniform is not well pressed, she will tell you to come into the grooming office after the briefing is done to fix your uniform. They will also tell you to polish your shoes, add some more blush, etc. If your skirt is too tight or your hair roots are visible in case your hair is tied, they will write down your staff number and check if you solve the problem in the next few days. If your problem is serious, like you have serious acne on your face or a burn visible in uniform, you can be offloaded. One more thing, after the briefing you can be called for an alcohol test, but this happens only a few times in a year. When the briefing is done, everyone needs to pass immigration. It's not the usual type of immigration check. We just scan our IDs, then put one finger on the scanner and that's it. Then our trolley and handbag will be scanned and we pass through a metal detector. Next, the bus will take us directly to the aircraft. Most probably the cleaners will still be inside the aircraft. First thing that we do is to remove our jacket and the company ID. We will take out from our trolley the dining jacket and cabin shoes because we need to wear them just after takeoff. So we want them to be easily accessible. Then we put our trolley in the overhead bin. We need to check if our interphones are working. The cabin senior will call everyone from her station. Good morning, this is Shweta from L1. I'm calling you for the interphone check. L1 loud and clear. Kim from R1 will say R1 loud and clear. Ahmed from L4 will say L4 loud and clear. Maria from R4 will say R4 loud and clear. Then we will start presetting headsets in each seat pocket and arrange the pillows and blankets that the cleaners have already preset. We will not preset amenity kits because this flight is not so long. We check if the toilets are replenished and we put one spray in each toilet. Also, Shweta will play the safety video on all screens and we need to check if all of them are working. Then it's time for the flight deck briefing. We all go to the front of the aircraft in business class where the captain and the first officer are waiting for us. And this is how their briefing goes on. Good morning everyone, I'm Giuseppe from Italy and I will be your captain today. 
Hello, I'm Daniel from UK. Please. Shweta from India. Christine from Philippines. Ahmed from Morocco. Maria from Colombia. Kim from Korea. Anna from Ukraine. Very good. Today's flight will take 6 hours and 10 minutes. Taxi time 10 minutes. The flight should be smooth. Maybe some turbulence 3 hours from takeoff. Let me know if it's too bumpy at the back and I will turn on the seatbelt sign. That's it from my side. Any specials for this flight? No captain, nothing. Okay, anything you want to add, Daniel? No. Enjoy the flight. Then we start the aircraft security search. This means we search for any object that is not supposed to be in the aircraft. Also, we check if the oxygen bottles, extinguishers and other equipments are fine. Each crew has to check if his seat is functional and if it has a life jacket. When we are done, the cabin senior will call again to make sure that the checks are done. We also prepare the toys for the kids and babies we have on board today. We will unpack 12 toys for kids and 2 for babies and arrange them nicely in a disposable drawer. The galley manager has a lot of things to do, such as taking the counts from the catering, splitting the special meals in the cart, opening the bar carts because they are closed with lockers, prepare the cart tops. I could make one entire video only about the galley manager's responsibilities. It's not an easy position for a junior crew. But once you know what you have to do, you will love being a galley manager. When everything is prepared, we can start the boarding. Guys, that's it. These are our duties before boarding starts. If you want to see what we do during the flight, check my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to discover more about cabin crew life and Qatar Airways. If you have any question, write it in the comments and I will be happy to answer you. See you next time.